I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. See how far it is from where you live, see if you can make it. I've got a really, really exciting package to unbox with you. Welcome back to a brand new studio vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. Today it's currently Wednesday the 27th of September and I'm having a little bit of a chilled workout day today. I had my Forest Fairy Tales collection launch on the 18th of September, so last Monday. And since then I've been like non-stop getting orders out, trying to keep on top of Etsy orders and everything like that, as well as trying to like put ideas for Christmas collections and keep posting on Patreon and things like that. It's just been extremely busy and I just feel like I need a week where I'm just kind of easing back into it after a really busy period. So I'm so incredibly grateful for all the orders and the Forest Fairy Tales collection launch. It was amazing, thank you so much. We sold out of the Motivation Potion sweater and we also have now sold out of the Froggy Fairy notepad. I have restocked the sweaters and I will be restocking the notepads and they will be launched in a couple of weeks time along with this sweater it says pumpkin queen so it's the same color as my motivation potion sweater but obviously it's got pippy the froggy fairy sat on a little pumpkin and it says pumpkin queen i've made these with bell's pumpkin patch in mind so if you don't know or haven't heard of bell's pumpkin patch it's one of the largest pumpkin patches in the uk and it's in lincolnshire where i live so they have a little maker's marquee well i'll say little it's big um and I'm going to be there on two days, so the 14th and 15th of October, which is a Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be there with my Prince Family pop-up shop, and I'll have these sweaters because I wanted something with a pumpkin on, and I'm also going to, I think, make some pumpkin queen cold cups as well, so make a sticker for it, a large sticker to put on the cold cup, because I still have quite a few of these brown cold cups left, so yeah, I think I might make some pumpkin queen cold cups. So that is something that we're gonna try today. I also have a few other things on my to-do list. I need to film an exclusive video for Patreon, which is gonna be about my top five investments and purchases for my small business because that has been requested by one of my patrons and I've not got around to doing it yet so I'm going to film that today and get it up before the end of the month because that's going to be this month's exclusive video. I do post exclusive videos most months. Some months I may miss it if I'm extremely busy but I do try to get one up every single month so yeah if you want to see that then you'll need to join my patron. I'll leave the link below. And I also have a website order to pack and I've got a really really exciting package to unbox with you. So I've been sent some goodies from another small business which I'm so excited about because I love them and their products so yeah we're gonna unbox that later as well so I think to start with I'm gonna get the website order packed so we can do that together and then I might make a start on making the pumpkin queen stickers to go on the cold cups I think I'm gonna do them pretty big so it covers like the main middle part of the cold cup and maybe put one either side. This is the cold cup decorating kit that's available on my website now. So you get the cold cup and this sticker pack to decorate your cold cup with. So you can put them like this or you can do it in your own way, your own style. But it's a really cool activity, perfect for autumn or Halloween parties and things like that. So yeah, let's get this order pack. It is from Sarah S. She has ordered a motivation potion sweater and the last froggy fairy night pad so I actually need to make that sweater because I don't have any in stock at the minute I've got the sweaters and the DTF transfers I've just not made it yet so yeah that'll be the first job to make the sweater and then we can pack the order together I'm just in the spare room at the minute because the ironing board's in here and it just saves me moving it around but basically I have the sweatshirt on the ironing board ready I did show this in a vlog I think it was my last vlog I did I showed a little bit of how I make my sweatshirts um, but basically I have the DTF transfer here, it's upside down, so that's the DTF transfer and I've also ordered some little DTF transfers of my logo to put inside the collar at the back, 
which the Motivation Potion sweaters that have already gone out didn't have these in, but I just thought that would be a really nice like finishing touch. Otis is playing with his toy down here, my dog, so that's what you can hear crinkling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this on the sweater and then also this in the collar bit and then that's ready for Sarah. <laughs> So the logo is going to go in this bit here on the collar and then obviously the design will go here. So yeah, I'm just going to give this a bit of an iron, press the designs on and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. The potion design is all peeled off. Let's have a look and see how this is stuck on here. So obviously you can't see the by Millie part too well because it's a light green colour but close up you can just about make it out. It just adds that like final bit of branding to the sweatshirt and I think it looks really good peeking out over the top. I've also got some tags to put in here as well so let's do that now. So the little cards that I've printed just have some care instructions on the back and like my website at the bottom and then the front has the logo and I bought this little like um, tag gun just off Amazon so I'm just going to put that through the top of the card really carefully because it's a really sharp needle and then through the tag at the top here I just pierce that press the gun and then it leaves the tag on the front like that and again it just adds that extra little touch <laughs> Next I'm going to film my Patreon video and it's, I think I said this earlier, but I'm talking about my five best investments slash purchases for my small business journey. I've been running this journey since, running this journey? Running this business since 2020, the summer of 2020 and I've made a few investments along the way, some great, some not so great. So. I'm going to be chatting a little bit about that. I'll put a little preview in this vlog so you can see what the video is kind of going to be like and then if you would like to watch the entire video just click the link in my description to my Patreon and I think it's the Luna Love Bugs tier and up where you get the exclusive video so that's £4 a month or if you just pay £1 extra, £5 a month, you get a free goodie sent to you in the post every single month that's a Patreon exclusive as well. Um, so yeah, let's get this video filmed. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. It's so nice to sit down and chat to you all. Today I'm bringing you a Patreon exclusive video all about some investments and purchases that I've made in my small business journey that have been some of the best decisions that I have made. So I'm going to talk about my top five investments for my small business and hopefully it really helps you guys out. I think okay, my Patreon video is all recorded. So I'm going to edit that today as well and schedule that for tomorrow, which is Thursday. But I forgot to say as well that tonight I've got my first Patreon Zoom call and I've called it like a cosy catch-up slash pyjama party Zoom call. So my patrons, Luna Lovebugs and Up, will all get a link to that Zoom call. It's from 7 till 8pm tonight and I'm just so excited to like see them all in person like in real time and we're just gonna have like a chat catch up get to know each other a little bit and I'm also planning on making a little quiz as well I don't really know what to do the quiz on I'm gonna figure that one out in a minute but yeah it'll just be an hour of just like 
catching up, getting cosy, I'm going to make a cup of tea and just chat to them and get to know them and it'll be really lovely I think. I am really nervous but you've got to do these things and get out of your comfort zone and yeah that'll be so nice. So that's this evening from 7 till 8 and that will be my last thing that I do today. I will be doing these every other month to start with so the next one will be in November. So again if you want to be a part of that then the link to my Patreon is below. But it is now, what time is it? 5 to 12. I think Lewis is coming home for his lunch today so he'll be home in a minute. So I'll have some lunch with him, take a bit of a lunch break and then I'll be back with you after that. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> what it's looking like we've just got I think there's 15 questions in total and then the little answers come up with little green hearts so I'll be sharing this like sharing my screen on the zoom call and we can do a little quiz I just thought that'd be cute here's how it's looking so far I think it looks so sweet and I think the customers at the Bell's pumpkin patch are gonna love this um, it's gonna match the sweater so people might buy both that's what I'm thinking or either or but I think it looks so cute I think I need to make the background of the sticker just a little bit more warm toned because I think it's just slightly too cool at the minute so that it blends in a little bit better I might try and get some transparent sticker paper but I've not had the best look with that in the past but I might see if I can find some more. But I think that looks super cute and then I will put one on the back as well I think so that the design is like all the way around. But yeah she looks so cute sat on her little pumpkin. Pumpkin queen. And you can put like iced lattes, iced pumpkin spice in here. I just think it's super cute. I love it. I'm super happy with this little cold cup. I think it is so cute. And it looks so cute matching with the sweater as well so I will be taking these to the market and I think I will be launching these with the sweaters and the, and the washi tape come in we're having basically like another mini forest fairy tales collection launch the washi tape was meant to be here for the actual launch but it got delayed because it was misprinted so it will be with me in a couple of weeks and that's when we'll launch the next little forest fairy tales collection so these cups will be coming these sweaters a restock of the froggy fairy notepads and the washi tape as well and anything else i can muster up in the time before that shop update we'll see but yeah i'm super excited about the pumpkin queen designs i think they're super cute and i think they're gonna love them at bell's pumpkin patch i'll leave a link down below to bell's pumpkin patch it's an amazing pumpkin patch it's one of the largest in the uk i think Thousands of people come every single year. It's always so busy and it's so great So I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that out See how far it is from where you live See if you can make it and you can buy tickets online for that and they're on the 14th and 15th of October a Saturday and Sunday um, But anyway, I digress the last thing I want to do in this vlog is 
unbox a very exciting parcel with you. I have been really kindly sent a little PR package from Mesa from Grumpy Nook and I've got the package down here. It's in this lovely little box. That's her logo on the front there, Grumpy Nook and I can't wait to see what's inside. She really kindly asked me if I wanted to be sent some things from her latest shop update and of course I said yes because her products are just so beautiful. So I'm gonna turn you around and let's unbox it together. Okay, hopefully this angle is okay and you can see what I'm doing. But let's open it up. It came, when did it come? I think it came yesterday. But I wanted to save it for the vlog because obviously I want to show you guys everything that's in here. I'm sure most of you probably follow her anyway. Oh my gosh, how it's wrapped as well, it's so beautiful. So we've got a little note in here, I'm gonna open that up first. So we've got a lovely little thank you card cute with some little details on the back and then here we have a note that says dear Millie thank you so much for accepting this little package and offering to unbox it on your vlog it really means a lot to me I've just finished your phone case vlog and I cannot wait to learn how to do this thank you <laughs> in the box is some bubble wrap this is reused from one of my orders we try not to use plastic that's amazing I really hope you like it and if you want to share a cheeky discount code with your followers it's grumpy Millie for 10% off and a free bookmark. Wow, that's amazing. Love Mesa. So you can use the code Grumpy Millie, quite apt sometimes, for 10% off and a free bookmark, which is so generous. How cute is that? I'm going to put these both up on my little pegboard because they're so cute. They're so autumnal as well, the colours. Oh, I just love it. So it's come wrapped in this beautiful paper and it says it's time to banish that grump <laughs> with the little logo on there as well. Let's have a look and see what's in here. Okay, so looks like we've got some stickers in this one. So I'll open this one first. When things are packaged so lovely, I hate ruining it. <laughs> goodness these are so beautiful look at the shine oh my gosh so we've got a you've got this sticker these are beautiful oh my goodness so cute i love the little funky character as well this is the peony one i've seen this on our instagram so lovely many in here oh i've seen this one i love this i love my nintendo switch how gorgeous are these oh my goodness so stunning and the little print there as well oh, i love the edging on this as well so pretty we have a bookmark that says rest nap and dream a little more so beautiful and that's got like a glossy finish i love that and another little print, rest nap and dream a little more. So that goes with the bookmark, bookmark, <laughs> bookmark. Okay, let's see what's in here next. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. So this is a wooden magnet. So it's just one more book and it has like a glossy design on it that's stuck on there. Oh, that feels so lovely. And I think Mason makes these herself as well. Oh, so beautiful. Everything is packaged so lovely as well. I need to find something that will stick on to in my office, something magnetic. I'll have a think. I want her hair. <laughs> and, oh, I can see. Oh my gosh. So the sticker design that I really, really love, well, I love all of them, but the one that I really, really, really love is also a little pin. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? Cozy gamer with two little rubber clutches on the back. Goodies to make grumpy days worth it. I love that slogan. That is so beautiful. That's going straight on my pegboard, <laughs> my pin display. And then we also have a little notepad, a long pad for list planning, jotting, and doodling. Oh, I think there's two in here. Wow, Maisie, you've been so generous. Thank you so much. 
Your products are so beautiful. Oh, so we've got two long lists, long pads, sorry, for list planning, jotting and doodling. They're 50 sheets each and 120 GSM, so they're really nice and thick. Oh, yeah, so luxurious. They have like a sheen to them as well. I can't wait to write on those. They're absolutely stunning. I love the colours so much. Mesa's products are so beautiful and they're very like autumnal and cosy. And I'm just gonna pop everything back in here for now. And I'm gonna leave all of Mesa's links in the description so you can check her out. Check out her on Instagram, her website. I think my favourite things have to be, oh, it's too hard to choose the pin and the sticker version of this design as well, the Cozy Gamer, the magnet which is so beautiful and it's one of the stickers I really liked, well I love all of them, the holographic one, this one, oh, it's so stunning with the pink colours as well, it's just very me. <laughs> so yeah I'll leave all of her links down below, thank you so much Mesa, you've been so generous and don't forget you can use the code GRUMPYMILLIE as well for 10% off and a free bookmark. Thank you so, so much. Okay guys, I'm going to leave the vlog here for today. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for the day. For the rest of the day, I'm going to make a start on editing this vlog so I can hopefully get it up for you either tomorrow or Friday. I've also got my Patreon Zoom call tonight from 7 till 8, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm excited to do that little quiz with them, get cosy in some pyjamas, make a cup of tea or a hot chocolate and just have a really nice catch up with my patrons who join. I think it will be so lovely and I'm so excited. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like if you did so that I know and help push this video to other people who like this kind of content as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more vlogs like this. I do upload studio vlogs every week to this channel as well as other videos like tips and advice and things like that. Thank you so much once again to Mesa from Grumpy Nook for your beautiful products. They are stunning. I can't wait to decide where to put them. But yeah, I am so incredibly grateful and I just know that you guys will love her products as well so definitely make sure you check her out i will see you next week for a brand new studio vlog we'll work some more on the next forest fairy tales drop i hope you guys are really excited for it and yeah i will see you very soon in the next one bye guys Ooh.